look at this. Mass Hydra's now coming in. Looks like he's going for this rock. And yeah, in come the Phoenixes now into Mad Frog's main base. Lifting up those those drones, starting to take them out. Starting to hit on that mineral line. Starting to hit on the income for Mad Frog. And yeah, more more Hydras down here to the south. Getting a little glimpse of them. Lifting up that Hydra. Ooh, but we got more Hydras down here. Of course, they did get down on the creep. It looks like he's just trying to go around, trying to find whatever he can to, to attack. White Rock coming around. Ooh, seeing those Overlords. Starting to take out the Overlords now. And it looks like we're getting dangerously close to capping Mad Frog's uh, unit count here. And while this is happening, Mad Frog also killing the destructible rocks in the middle. We get down to 80 cap here. So once these guys die, he's pretty much going to be not able to make as many units as possible here. And yeah, in come the, the Phoenixes, seeing that these rocks are getting torn down. Sending the Void Rays down to the south here to the cold expansion. Going to take out these Hydralis with a good batch here. Phoenix is coming in to help support the Hydralis also up here, coming in, taking out these pylons. All the while down here, expansion getting taken out. It's a spore crawler up here well, as well, but that, ooh, that Hydralis tank getting taken out. So we won't see any Hydralis for a while here being made. So once these Hydralis are gone, it's going to be a pretty good move. Oh, this MX is going down. So it's an eye for an eye here as this expansion goes down as well. These Hydralis just going to town. Carrier, da, da, da. looks like more Void Rays being made here, maybe to help support up on this north part, but oh, it's not looking good right now. Void Rays now starting to go up to this expansion as the as the Phoenixes are making their way here as well. Looks like more of oh, Zerglings being made, and these Hydra are slowly, slowly coming back to help support that expansion, but not looking good right now for Mad Frog's expansion. Looks like Void Ray's now finally starting to do some damage here. And another Void Ray coming in. And will these Phoenixes start lifting things off? Yeah, they start lifting units up here. Oh, down goes another one, and that Queen's going to be the next one to go down, with another Hydralis going down. And these Void Ray's just slowly getting killed, but living through this, going to probably take this expansion down. Very good move here by White Rock. Definitely at the advantage here, taking down two expansions. Uh, of Mad Frogs for the price of one expansion. That's now getting back up as well. Looks like uh, Carrier, uh, White Rock looking to transgress into the Carrier mode here. Looks like White Rock now trying to also get rid of more Overlords here. Bundling them up. Not the best move here by Mad Frog to bundle them up. He could have hit them out somewhere. Uh, definitely away from his base where White Rock is going all the time here. It looks like these Hydras did win the battle for the day, uh, for right now. And sending these Phoenixes in again to see if what kind of harassment he can do. It looks like uh, Overlord here now putting some creep in. It would be really adv advantageous for uh, Mad Frog to put some creep in between here to speed up these these mutil or Hydralis from... Uh, you know, being really slow off the creep. That's the one disadvantage of having these Hydralis. But look at look at all these Hydralis just easily plow through the Zealots. Now going up for the main base here. And it looks like a Void Ray coming down here just to chill. But yeah, Hydralis coming up here, taking out these uh, pylons, starting to take out this wall here. Easily taking out the wall here. And sending in the Zerglings to start attacking. Two-prong attack here. Phoenix is coming in, easily going to be taken out by these Hydralis. These Hydralis just starting to go town inside the main base here. Oh, Fleet Beacon does get researched just in time. The carrier uh, option on the Fleet Beacon does get researched just in time for that before it goes down. Excellent timing there, I would say, for the extra carriers here to get in and out of the carrier bay. And this Nexus not looking good here. Wait, Rod doesn't have anything yet to go against. He does have one carrier, two carriers out, and a Void Ray, but will that be enough for what uh, Mad Frog has out right now? That Nexus gone. Main base definitely gone. And it looks like Mad Frog going to get supply capped again. And uh, this Void Ray not looking like it's going to be living long. Yeah, it goes down really fast. 
And that Mad Frog definitely going for taking out that uh, taking out that gateway and going for that Cybernetic Core as well. As long as that Cybernetic Core is there, White Rock can be making things. And more Hydras on the way. Look at this massive amount of Hydras being produced by the Mad Frog. And that carrier almost dead. And uh Mad Frog should be focus firing these things down instead of firing on those those little drones. So it looks like he is gonna get that one carrier down. Yeah that one carrier does go down. Another one is made. And yeah just keep running back. He should be taking these out. He would be definitely if he would have taken this thing out and and maybe that one could be winning the game right now. But it looks like White Rock Gonna have the air advantage here and taking out all of these hydras. Wait, or a second expansion goes out. He does have three minerals left and nothing, nothing to make. He can't make another nexus here. So it looks like White Raw is done making anything. He does have a void ray coming out though, so that is gonna look pretty good here. He does have three air units. Uh, Mad Frog not making anything right now. He does have three. Oh, he is making three hydralis. And he does have some Zerglings coming in now. But even sending the probes out is starting to really go against us. When we look at the income tab here. We do have uh, Mad Frog making some money, but uh, will be enough here. It's not going to be enough to, to keep this hatchery alive, that's for sure. More Hydralis are being made, but I don't know if that's going to be enough for what, what we have here going after the, trying to take out as many things with minerals as possible before they can get back to this hatchery. Two hatcheries up here though. Hydralis just kind of hiding out in the back. And out come those interceptors. Gonna try and take out whatever he can. Oh yeah, look at this. Just taking out those hydras easily. Oh, that's not looking good for Mad Frog here as he is making one hydros, but I don't think that's gonna be enough. We do have four Zerglings up here trying to play cleanup. We but we, uh, it looks like this might be in White Raw's favor right now. Taking out this hatchery, gonna go for the next hatchery. All the, <laughs> oh, Mad Frog pulling all of his drones off. He's gonna start trying to kill anything that that White Raw has here. And this photon cannon is going insane. Look at this, five kills so far. And one of them was just from when they were going after the the rocks here. I'll keep an eye on this. Photon can up to seven kills now. Down. Oh, that's a shame. Going, killing that that uh, that hydralis den. And going now for that layer. And looks like yeah, carrier coming back to help support. But this hatchery's gonna go down. And that spawning pool gonna go down. Even have a probe down here trying to take out this extractor. Yeah, carrier coming in. Nothing to shoot it down going after all of these drones. Drones not going to be able to take any of this down. And yeah, Mad Frog's base definitely going down here. Yeah, Mad Frog leaving the game. Not even a GG. That's a shame. Um, but definitely good game between the two. It was neck and neck even till the end. Oh, and a lot of action here. Uh, Mad Frog sending out all of his Zerglings in the beginning and around the, the bend, getting through... Uh, the white raw wall offs here, taking out that nexus a couple times here, and even this gold expansion going down a couple times down here for Mad Frog. Ah, uh, just it was a it was pretty intense here between the two, back and forth, back and forth, and White Raw finally getting out here. It was basically a race to the the final here to see who would get what out, but. Mad Frog, all of his units getting taken down at the end. So good job to both of these. Uh, these wonderful, unique players, and uh, make sure to leave some comments, feedback down in the, the comments section. Uh, make sure to subscribe, and make sure to like this video if you do uh, like this, if you want more Mad Frog or White Raw action, or Duckload Raw action. Uh, and uh, yeah, just make sure to leave comments down and, and to uh, subscribe. So I will talk to you guys next time. You Take care.